the trial in the city baada ya kumaliza kuchambua vitabu vyote vya olevo kidato cha pili cha tatu na cha nne namalizia kuchambua vitabu vya fasihi upande wa advance leo nipo na betlaya in the city maana yake ni usaliti ndani ya jiji playlight is francis imbuga mwandishi wa kitabu ni francis imbuga kutoka nchini kinya year of publication in 1976 mwaka wa kuchapishwa ni mwaka 1976 baada ya uhuru wa Kenya. Haujambo mpenzi msikilizaji wa darasa online channel. Unayefuatilia kazi zangu mbalimbali zinazohusiana na uchambuzi wa vitabu hususan somo la literature in English. Napenda kuwakaribisha kwenye kipindi cha leo kinahusiana na uchambuzi wa tamthilia yani play pendwa inayofundishwa kidato cha tano na cha sita inaitwa Betlaya in the city yani maana yake ni usaliti ndani ya jiji kwa majina inaitwa teacher kaliko doto njige the man of literature Betlaya in the city is a play within a play We have the play where Jusper Wendo is the main character who composed a play to entertain the visitor which makes creatively ending of the first play tamthilia hii betray in the city ni tamthilia iliyo na tamthilia nyingine ndani ya tamthilia moja tamthilia ya kwanza inaongelea kafila state yani jamii ya kafila Tamthilia ya pili inamuongelea Jusipa Wendo zote hizi zipo ndani ya play moja. Tamthilia moja inazaa tamthilia ingine ndani ya tamthilia hiyo mhusika mkuu wa play hii ni Jusipa Wendo do anayeoneshwa kutoka mwanzo hadi mwisho wa kitabu. Tamthilia ya pili iliyomo ndani ya tamthilia ya kwanza inaitwa Play of Jusipa Wendo ndo inayotupa title ya kitabu Betlaya in the city. Mpenzi msikilizaji hasa mwanafunzi wa kidato cha tano na cha sita walimu wanavyo. Play hii yani Betlaya in the city ni aina ya mtamsilia yenye huzuni na kichekesho. Mfano wa huzuni tunaoneshwa maumivu ya watu wanaokamatwa na kufungwa jela na wengine wanakufa mfano adika chaga mlili pamoja na kabito kwa ufupi hii play inalenga usaliti ndani ya jiji sehemu ya kichekesho tunaoneshwa ukulasa wa 36 pale juice pa wendo aliposema shit god what club is your toilet repaired but line the city is a tragic comedy play as it has element of both plays mpenzi msikilizaji hususan mwanafunzi wa kidato cha tano na cha sita naelezea play hii kwa kuzingatia form and the content yani fun na mauzui ndugu wanafunzi tunafahamu tuna aina mbili za element of literature such as form and content lakini niwaambie mimi naenda kuchambua kitabu hiki kwa kuzingatia vipengele kumi na tatu kama vile title of the play playlight year setting style plot characters themes conflict law and position of women figure speech message and the last relevance naanza kupitia kipengele kimoja hadi kingine kipengele cha kwanza Title of the play ukiangalia kuna picha ya mtu aliyefungwa na pingu inaonesha wafungwa pamoja na watu mbalimbali wanao uwawa. Betlaya in the city is straight forward to what we see in the play. Kichwa cha tamthilia kina sadifu yaliyomo ndani. Mfano leader go against the argument 
and the expectation that people had during the struggle for independence. Leader huyu ni kiongozi msaliti, Anesa Dif Taito ya kitabu The Triangle City. Haiendani na makubaliano na matarajio ya wananchi wanaoyahitaji kipindi, kipindi cha kupigania uhuru. Na mwisho wa siku watu wanauliwa na kukamatwa. Huo tunauita usaliti. Also people are still suffering from exploitation, poverty, injustice and many evils. Pia title ya kitabu ina certificate yaliyomo ndani kama vile masuala ya unyanyasaji kupitia usaliti ndani ya jiji. Umaskini unaosababishwa na usaliti wa viongozi kwa sababu watu wanakamatwa hawafanyi kazi zozote kukosekana kwa amani inayosababishwa na usaliti wa viongozi na matukio ya mauaji ubakaji unasababishwa na usaliti ndani ya jiji kwa hiyo mpenzi mwanafunzi wa kidato cha tano na cha sita title ya play ni direct title kwa sababu inasadifu yaliyomo ndani ya kitabu yani usaliti ndani ya jiji betla in the city kwa majina anaitwa teacher kaliko doto njige yani kwa jina jingine unaweza kanita teacher kadonji ni mzaliwa wa Shinyanga ni ndo ya Busaru mwajiji ndo nilikozaliwa mpenzi msikilizaji tuangalie kipengele cha pili ambacho ni playwright yani mwandishi wa tamthilia ni nani playwright is Francis Mbuga was born in 1947 and died in 2012 mwandishi wa play ya Betlain the City ni Francis Mbuga kutoka nchini Kenya Alizaliwa mwaka 1947 na alifariki mwaka 2012. Ni mwandishi maarufu nchini Kenya. Aliandika vitabu kadhaa kama vile The Fourth Trial. Aliandika mwaka 1972. Kisses of Fall. Aliandika mwaka 1972. The Mad Bachelor. Aliandika mwaka 1973 pamoja na vitabu vinginevyo. Elimu ya Francis Mbuga ni daktari e, wa literature, yani ana degree tatu. Kipengele cha tatu ni year of publication. This book published in 1976. Kitabu hiki kimechapishwa mwaka 1976 baada ya uhuru wa Kenya. Kipengele kingine cha nne ni setting of the play located in Kenya especially in Kafira state and Nairobi. Mandhari ya play hii ni nchini Kenya ususani maeneo kama vile mji wa Kafira, Nairobi pia na maeneo ya vijijini Kaonesha. Kipengele kingine cha tano ni style of the play The playwright Francis Mbuga used different style like the use of songs and the use of dialogue. Mitindo ya mwandishi Francis Mbuga ni kama vile mazungumzo baina ya mtu mmoja na mwingine. Pia katumia nyimbo mbalimbali, katumia nafsi za umoja pamoja na wingi. Kipengele kingine cha sita ni plot. Plot is an arrangement of events in a literary way. Plot it is a flashback mm, because it starts with a dika morning at the beginning. Francis Imbuga ameanza kwa kuonesha migogoro kati ya tamaduni za Kiafrika zinazoendeshwa na Waafrika pamoja na serikali hawapatani na raia wake. Imbuga start by showing the contradiction between african culture inherited government system against leaders and the mass the play opened by showing the life of nina and doga who mourn for their lost child who was killed and organized demonstration which was focused on africa dictatorship and the corruption mpenzi msikilizaji Play hii ni flashback plot kwa sababu inaanza na tukio la mtu alishakufa 
na mwisho wa kitabu kinarejesha kisa cha adika na chanzo kilichosababisha auawe mwisho wa kitabu kitabu kinaanza kuelezea maisha ya doga nina walivyo kwa wanaishi maisha ya umaskini na wana wakiomboleza kuwawa kwa mwanao adika mwanafunzi wa chuo kikuu kipindi hicho Jusper ye hakuwepo wazazi walianza kumtafuta mwanao mwisho wa siku mwanao Jusper wendo alianza kufanya revenge kuwaua baadhi ya viongozi waliokuwa wanafanya usaliti ukatili kwa raia kaona aliyemua kaka yake na Jusper Wendo ambaye ni adika aliuliwa na Chaga baadaye naye huyo aliuliwa na Jusper Wendo hii ni hali ya usaliti matukio yaliyopangiliwa kwenye kitabu hiki ni matukio ya kiusaliti ndani ya jiji muhusika wa kitabu hiki ni Jusper Wendo mwisho wa siku Eh, waliuliwa na Jusper wa Wendo wengine waliuliwa eh, wao kwa wao kwa vile kama vile Chaga, Mlili, Kabito wengine waliishia jela. Tuangalie kipengele cha saba characters. Francis Imbuga kaonesha wahusika mbali mbali waliochukuliwa kila mtu na kazi yake kaoneshwa. Mfano The first character is Jusper Pawendo. The main character, huyu ni mhusika mkuu. He is a patriotic. Huyu ni mzalendo anayetaka haki, amani na upendo kwa raia wake. He is a college. Yeye ni jasiri ndo maana alikuwa anajiamini kwa kila jambo analolifanya. He is educated boy. Ni msomi anayeamini katika amani na upendo. Pia ni msumbufu. Musika wa pili anaitwa Doga. Nina the husband ni mume wa Nina, Jusper and Adika's father, baba yake na Jusper pamoja na Adika. He is a college. Naye ni mjasiri aliyekuwa haogopi kwa jambo lolote. He is a trad- traditionalist ni mtu anayeamini kat- kwenye masuala ya mila. Ukiangalia ukurasa wa nne wanaomboleza kuwa kwa mwanao Adika. Muhusika wa tatu anaitwa Nina. Dogas wife and Jusper and Adika mother. Mm. Yeye huyu ni mke wa Doga pamoja kina Jusper pamoja na Adika ni mama yao. Caring mother huyu ni mama anayejali wanao. So she is a traditionalist. Yeye pia anaamini katika masuala ya mila. Musika wa nne anaitwa Mlili. He's ex soldier. Yeye huyu ni askari au mwanajeshi mstaff. He's Jere Kolgis, kwamba yeye alikuwa ni rafiki yake na Jere. He's betrayed. He, he's betrayed by Jere. Yeye alisalitiwa na Jere. Ndio maana mwisho wa siku Jere aliweza kumuua Mlili. Musika mwingine wa tano anaitwa Jere. Mlili Koligi comes from different culture. Pia jele yeye alikuwa ni rafiki yake na Mlili. Religion to be connected with religion having strong belief. Tunaambiwa kwamba jele yeye alikuwa ni mtu anayeamini katika masuala ya dini. Ndio maana alikuwa anawaambia kina doga pamoja na nina kwamba waweze kumrudia Mwenyezi Mungu. Ndio maana aliweza kuapa Bible ili waweze kusali. Mm. He is a patriotic. Pia tunaambiwa kwamba na yeye ni mzalendo. Aliyekuwa anapigania haki nchini Kenya. He is a kind. Pia alikuwa ni mwelevu eh, mwenye busara. Musika mwingine wa sita anaitwa Boss. He is the head of state of Kafira. Huyu ni mkuu, eh? Huyu ni, ni mwenyekiti wa mji wa Kafira. He is a dictator. Tunaambiwa kwamba yeye alikuwa ni gaidi maana alikuwa anatesa watu anaonea watu. He is a humanizer. Yeye huyu ni, ni mtu aliyekuwa anapenda wanawake, anatembea na wake za watu. Mfano tumepewa eh, Regina ambaye alikuwa ni mpenzi wa Jusper Uwendo. Musika mwingine wa saba anaitwa Moses. His lecturer at Kafila University. Kwamba huyu alikuwa mkufunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Kafila. 
his legina blood kwamba alikuwa ni kaka yake na legina his philosopher kwamba alikuwa yeye ni mwana filosofia his patriotic pia naye alikuwa mzalendo aliyekuwa anapigania uhuru wa Kenya Musika mwingine wa nane anaitwa Regina. He is a Moses sister and Jusper's girlfriend. Huyu ni dada yake na Moses na pia alikuwa mpenzi wa Jusper Wendo. She is scary kwamba huyu alikuwa ni binti anayejali ndio maana alikuwa anamjali kaka yake pamoja na mpenzi wake Jusper. She is trustful kwamba alikuwa mwaminifu kwa mpenzi wake. She is gorgeous na yeye pia alikuwa mwenye busara mwenye ni mjasiri. Musika mwingine wa tisa anaitwa Tumbo. He is a chairman of Vistas Entertain Committee Collapt. Kwamba yeye alikuwa ni mwenyekiti katika e, kampuni la kupegania wala rushwa. He is a collapt leader. Kwamba tunaambia kwamba na yeye huyu alikuwa ni kiongozi ambaye ni mla rushwa. He is coward to bossy hakuwa mwaminifu kwa bosi wake. Musika mwingine wa kumi anaitwa Nicodemo. He is a member of visiting committee. Naye pia alikuwa ni mwanachama wa committee ya wa la rushwa. He is a lesman. Huyu tunaambia kwamba alikuwa e, ni mtu mvivu. Maana ye alikuwa yeye anauliza masaa machache ili aweze kuondoka. He is a greedy. Ni mtu mwenye tamaa alikuwa anatamani vitu vingi he is a betrayer pia naye alikuwa ni msaliti kwa wenzake he is a coward to boss naye hakuwa mwaminifu kwa bosi wake musika mwingine wa mwisho ambaye ni musika wa kumi na moja anaitwa Kabito he is a member of visiting committee naye pia ni mwanachama mm-hmm. he is a corrupt leader naye alikuwa ni kiongozi ambaye ni mlalushwa he is a greed naye alikuwa ni mtu mwenye tamaa He's educated ni msomi pia. Let us look another element. Tuangalie kipengele kingine cha nane kinaitwa Zims Zamila. Zamila ya kwanza tumwisho kwamba kuna betrawa, kuna masuala ya usaliti. Kuna usaliti kati ya nane, kuna usaliti kati ya Nicodem na Moses. Na hii muonyesho wa ukurasa wa 25. Kwa sababu walipeana madili ya madawa waende wakauze lakini mmoja wapo aliweza kumsaliti mwenzaye ambaye ni Nicodem usaliti mwingine umefanywa na Mlili Mlili alimsaliti Jere hmm? kipindi wanapeana maswa wanapeana michongo mbali mbali Mlili aliweza kumsaliti Jere na Jere ndo mwisho wa siku aliweza kumuua Usaliti mwingine uliofanywa ni kati ya mlili pamoja na Kabito. Mm. Waliweza nao kusalitiana. Usaliti mwingine kati ya mlili pamoja na bosi. Mm. Usaliti mwingine kati ya bosi na watu wa kafira ambaye bosi aliweza kuwasaliti na kuwafanyia masuala ya unyama. Dhamira nyingine ya pili ni corruption, masuala ya rushwa. Mfano aliyekuwa anafanya rushwa ni huyu bosi anaitwa Tumbo alikuwa anafanya masuala ya rushwa magendo mbali mbali. Kwa hiyo tumepata dhambila ya rushwa. Dhambila nyingine ya tatu ni protesti masuala ya upingaji. Nani sasa wanaopinga? University student of Kafila against the government which led to the death of Adika. Kuna wazidi ya masuala ya upingaji kati ya wanachuo wa chuo kikuu cha Kafila walikuwa wanaipinga zidi ya mauaji yaliyokuwa nafanywa na serikali. Kuna protest nyingine kati ya nne the dog against him really want the ceremony not to go ahead kwamba kuna upingaji mwingine kati ya nne the dog walikuwa wanapambania zidi ya kukataliwa na mlili wasiweze kuzika mwanao lakini mwisho wa siku wakawa wamesimama imara kuna upingaji mwingine uliofanywa na Kabito against him really which led to his death kwamba Usaidi upingaji mwingine ulifanywa na Kabiti eh zaidi ya mlili. Upingaji mwingine umefanywa na Jele against mlili. Jele mwisho wa siku alimuua mlili. Upingaji mwingine kati ya Moses against system from boss. Mm. Moses naye alistrago eh, zidi ya bosi wake. Na upingaji mwingine Jusper by killing sub chief brother who's chaga. 
Juice bana yeye alikuwa anapinga zidi ya mauaji aliyokuwa anafanya kwa kaka yake na yeye akafanya revenge ya kumua yule sub chief ambaye ni chaga. Dhamira nyingine ya nene inaitwa nepotism, maswala ya kubebana, kumfavor mtu means giving favor because of relation either blood, tribe or schoolmate. Mfano bosi favor mlili. Hmm. Bosi aliweza kumfavor mlili kwa sababu ni mjomba wake, yani ni mpwa wake. Pia mwingine aliyemfavor tumbo favored Jusper. Jusper might be able to light a play but he was favored in the sense that he did not go through competition and the fact that Regina was in relation with him mtu mwingine aliyemfavor mwenzake ni Tumbo Tumbo alimfavor Jusper aweze kuandika play yake dhamira nyingine ya tano inaitwa dehumanization means to treat a person in a way that make him or her less human example student of kafila university been shoot at every demonstrate against the government dog and nina attend their mighty for moon to their son kuna maswala ya humanization kutokuepo maswala ya binadamu ndio maana wanafunzi wa kafila wenyewe waliamua kupambana zidi ya serikali kwa sababu serikali iko nafanya maswala ya huo pamoja ne, na mambo mengine na dhamira nyingine ya sita inaitwa patriotism maswala ya uzalendo means is a feeling of love and the willingness to do anything for the benefit of one's country example just by when the university student and jedi kuna maswala ya uzalendo mm. just by when ni mzalendo ndo maana alikuwa anapigania haki pamoja na wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha kafila na mwisho na ambaye ni jedi so let us look another element. Tuangalie kipengele kingine ambao ni conflict kipengele cha tisa. Kuna social conflict, kuna migogoro ya kijamii ndio maana jamii yenyewe iko napigana pamoja na serikali. Kuna political conflict, kuna migogoro ya kisiasa iliyoibuka ambayo serikali yenyewe iko upande wa kisiasa zaidi. E, kuna tuangalie migogoro baina ya mtu mmoja na mtu mwingine. Student of University of Kafila versus the government. Kuna migogoro kati ya wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Kafila pamoja na serikali zidi ya mauaji kwa wanafunzi mwenzao. Mgogoro mwingine kati ya Kabito and Mlili. E, kuna mgogoro mwingine kati ya Kabito and Mlili. Kuna mgogoro mwingine kati ya Nina Doga pamoja na Mlili. Kuna mgogoro mwingine kati ya Jele against Mlili. Mgogoro mwingine kati ya Juspa against Sub Chief Brother. Let us look another element. Tuangalie kipengele kingine cha kumi kinali kinaitwa Law and the Position of Woman in the Society. Woman portrayed as a parent and a caretaker. Example Nina, mwanamke kachorwa kama E, mzazi na mtu mwenye maredhi mazuri mfano nina alikuwa anapenda watoto wake also women portrayed as the sympathy kwamba mwanamke kachorwa kama mtu mwenye huzuni mwenye huruma mfano nina also women portrayed as the courageous example regina kwamba mwanamke kachorwa kama mtu mwenye jasiri eh, mwenye msimamo wake kwa mfano regina amekuwa ni mtu ambaye yeye alikuwa haogopi also women portray as a protest example Nina and Regina mwanamke pia kachorwa kama ni mtu ambaye anayepinga maswala ya uo mfano Nina pamoja na Regina also women portrayed as a patriotic mwanamke pia kachorwa kama mtu ni mzalendo mfano Regina alikuwa anapigania uhuru katika nchi ya Kenya tuangalie kipengele kingine cha kumi na moja kinaitwa figures of speech tamadhali za seme The first figure of speech which is onomatopoeia eh mwigo wa sauti kwa mfano tu 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 the sound of the guns given by Jusper in page 6 tukiangalia ukurasa namba 6 kuna mwigo wa sauti wa bunduki ambao ulikuwa unasikika tu 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 another figure of speech which is a soliloquy mm, which is a monologue the speech in a play in which a character who is alone on the stage example observe Jusper's speech on page 5 up 6 also Moses's speech on page 3 up 31 tukiangalia kuna maswala 
ya mtu hali solilo kuimana yake ni ile hali ya mtu kuonge anatoa speech yeye mwenyewe we, kimoyoni kwa mfano kiangalia juice pawendo wenye class namba 5 hadi 6 alianza kutoa speech fran pamoja na Moses yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anaongelea e, toa speech fran ukiangalia class namba 30 hadi 31 another figure of speech which is symbolism eh yeah. sure means the something that is tend to, to represent something is ni kitu kinachosimama kuakisha kitu kingine coin symbolize man of literacy kwamba coin yenye inawakilisha imani za watu amba hela pesa ambazo watu haja soma also potatoes potatoes symbolize man page 44 kuangalia ukurasa namba 44 kuna symbolism ya kiaz kina mboki na pesa Mlili poor grammar is a symbolize of literacy kwamba e, kutokuwa na uimara wa kuongea Kiingereza kwa mlili inawakilisha watu ambao hawajasoma maana alikuwa anaongea poor grammar another figure speech which is a simile eh? example you work like the meteorological department kwa hiyo kuna matumizi ya simile ambayo ina compare between two things ambayo ni neno like another figure of speech is idioms na how example hot mouth page 19 to be locative as kali uoni moses e, kuna na how ndio tumika inamaanisha kwamba hot mouth another figure of speech with the proverbs method example a mouse does not share a blows with a cat dog tell nina Hapa ndio kwa tunapewa mesali na doga alikuwa anawaambia mke wake Nina kwamba a mouse does not share a bowl with a cat kwamba panya hawezi akachangia aka e, chakula pamoja na paka Another element tuangalie kipengele cha 12 kinaitwa message Message example betra is not good in our society because let the conflict in the society kwa masuala ya usaliti sio mazuri katika jamii yetu maana inapelekea kuibuka kwa migogoro nepotism is the source of unemployment to the poor people kwa masuala ya kubeba kumfeva ni chanzo cha kutokuwepo kwa ajira hasa kwa maskini wenyewe hataweza kuajiriwa au kupata nafasi another message unit is the key of success in our life kwamba masuala ya umoja upendo e, ndio ufunguo wa mafanikio ya maisha yetu. Tuangalie kipengele kingine cha 13 ambapo ndo kipengele cha mwisho kinaitwa relevance. Cha masuala ya betrayal, yani masuala ya usaliti hata kwenye jamii yetu tunayoishi yapo. The inch of unity, masuala ya umoja, watu wanaungana kufanya jambo fulani yapo hata kwenye jamii zetu. The inch of hypocrisy, masuala ya unafiki hata kwenye jamii zetu yapo yanaendelea kuibuka. The issue of exploitation maswala ya unyanyasaji yapo yanaendelea kwenye jamii zetu. The issue of nepotism maswala ya kumfeva mtu mwenzako hata hata kwenye jamii zetu, kwenye nchi yetu au ulimwenguni bado yanaendelea. Asanteni kwa kunisikiliza. Nimefika tamati ya uchambuzi wa kitabu hiki pendwa kinachofundishwa kidato cha tano na cha sita. Kwa majina naitwa Teacher Kadonji Kaliko doto njige, the teacher of literature in English. Na kukumbusha usisaku, subscribe, kulike, kukoment chini ya hii video. Na penda kwa salimu, wazazi wangu, baba yangu, doto njige kubabu. Mama yangu, peka luhumbika mara, wadogo zangu, kuma, hanga, rumwa, luhumbika na baraka. Bila kwa saa, wadau wangu, kimoro, kutoka monduli arusha. Mwalimu machage, nyamilama, kutoka mwanza, mwalimu komki ya moses, kutoka Arusha Habibu Masasu kutoka Simeyu Mwalimu Chilangi Lufrondama Nteminyamba Teminyanda kutoka Mwanza Ilemela Mwalimu Jumane kutoka Mnini Kimanjaro Asanteni sana Asanteni sana bye bye